Hey guys, it's your girl Nadge. I'm here today to bring you another video. So, I want to talk about Candace Owens and Kanye West. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick, so <clears throat> if I'm a little bit raspy, forgive me, please. Now, um, Candace Owens and Kanye West. <laughs> These two people have come under a lot of heat lately because um, they are both black American celebrities or influencers who have publicly stated that they are affiliated or associated with the Republican Party. Um, they both have been avid supporters of Donald Trump. Um, and so I basically want to speak about how I want to be proud of these two individuals. So, let's start with why a lot of the black community is really not aligned with the things that the two of them are saying in terms of the question of race. So basically, Candace Owens has come under a lot of heat because she has voiced a lot of opinions on um, saying that black people, in a, in, a, in, a, in a very real way, are responsible as a group for the, 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 the economic status that they have as minorities in the United States. Basically, the argument that they should seek out more education, um, that they should try to enter into some trades, et cetera, et cetera. She also has denied climate change. Um, and she just basically sounds a lot like a mouthpiece for Fox News, you know. That's why she's come under heat. Now, Kanye West, why do I want to lump him into this? Because Kanye West, and Candace Owens together wore White Lives Matters t-shirts um, to a red carpeted event that was highly publicized, that had a lot of paparazzis. Um, and so, obviously, they wanted that to be seen. They also have a lasting friendship. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of black people basically think that they are being um, almost they're they're almost hindering the progress of the Black Lives Matter movement and um, a, a lot of black people to be very honest with you just think that they're making a, a spectacle of themselves so um, basically there you have it <laughs> now I want to talk about why I actually want to be proud of these two individuals so first they are both highly intelligent. Now, one thing that you cannot deny about these two people is that they're intelligent, well-spoken people who have experienced life, who have done research, who have traveled in certain high echelons of society, and uh, they've made important contacts. They are successful. You know, you can see that they are successful in a financial, economic way. Um, that's the first thing that we can clearly state, you know, that these are two intelligent, well-spoken individuals and that they have um, done well for themselves. Um, the other thing I want to say is that they both come from not necessarily affluent or super rich backgrounds. You know, I think that Candace Owens came from a fairly middle class, lower middle class upbringing. Same for Kanye West. So I do think that these two individuals have grown themselves up to um, <coughs> a, a status that is, I, I think these two people have, have really um, taken the cards that they were dealt with, with in life and they've turned it around to be something that's very, very commendable for them. Um, what else could I say? I could say that they both have a um, strong sense of their opinion and they stick to their scruples. Um, they don't back down easily. They don't um, take uh, being belittled or abused easily. They, they have 
minds of their own. Now, we got the good stuff out of the way. I'm proud of them. You know, I'm proud of them. They made their way up out of, you know, <clears throat> a background that was not necessarily one of luxury. And they are both now very, very financially successful. Um, and I want to give them praise for that because I know that it is not easy. What I think is that they are not very cognizant of how much of an impact that their words have as people of color and as two people who are in the public eye for the advancement of black people. And so, <clears throat> for example, the Black Lives Matter movement, they both have candidly um, spoken out against, in a way, the Black Lives Matter movement. And um, I can understand if you're speaking about corruption that's within the, within the movement, if there's people who have extorted money. I get that. But it's like you're missing the point, you know. Are, do you get the point of Black Lives Matter? Do you understand why people are fighting so hard for this? It's so that we can have equality. It's so that systemic racism that I know both Candace Owens and Kanye West have ex experienced in life doesn't happen as often so that that's not as prevalent. Do you support that happening? I think those are the questions more so that we need to be asking Candace Owens and Kanye West. I don't think we need to be demonizing them. They're two smart people. They're two intelligent, savvy people who have done well for themselves. And I, 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 I would like to think that they have capacity for seeing reason. I really do. Because just six years ago, Candace Owens was Democrat, you know. Which I'm not saying being a Democrat is the voice of reason. But um, very often, we do see that society fares better with, at least in, in the U.S., with democratic presidents um yeah usually the people who are speaking up for the everyman you know for <clears throat> the access to health care the access to a uh, decent education no matter what socioeconomic background you come from that's usually a democrat so um i think that the fight is just too 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 important as my mom or my grandmother would have said it you know the fact that 150 years ago, you know, my relatives were still picking cotton, you know. It's, it's too important for gimmicks and, and um, quirky little clickbait titles that'll, that'll get us a little bit of money. This struggle is too important for that. And so I think that Kanye West and, and, and Candace Owens are admirable people and I really really um, applaud them for the success that they've reached in life can we just take a moment to to say that but I think that they got to change the, they, they got to change the narrative here you know they need to look at the bigger picture and the people who look like them the people who are supporting them and and fighting for them actually fighting for them because you know celebrities they live kind of a different lifestyle you know they they're not necessarily getting stopped by the cops you know and and brutalized they're not necessarily getting followed around convenience stores <clears throat> but there are people like that who face things like that every day and you're basically standing on their shoulders you know because one of the reasons that you are getting the airtime that you're getting, the deals that you're getting, is because you have an audience. And that audience is made up of a lot of people that look like you. Your parents, your grandparents, you know. There was even a statement um, that Candace's grandfather, I think, made. Because she, she had basically came out and said some horrible things about some victims. Um, I can't remember exactly what the situation was, but I know that there were victims involved. She basically said that she didn't feel any sympathy for them and her grandfather basically came out and <clears throat> that right there was she also had a classmate who spoke out you know about how she used to be 
to me, that is a clear indicator of someone who maybe has changed their tune a bit because they've seen that it's brought them a certain amount of mon mon uh, monetization and, and financial success. So, um, you can see clearly she was raised by uh, a good black family and she should get back to those roots. You know, Kanye West should get back to those roots. Um, I'm all for a multicultural world. My husband is white and I do not want to sound like a militant, you know, person who just says black people should be with black people and white people should be with white people and that's the end of the day. No. Um, but much like with the Holocaust, Jews had to remember their ancestral history. They had to remember their roots and remember that there was something bigger than them that they were all a part of. And they had to embrace some sort of brotherhood in order to advance forward. And um, I think that's where we're at with the Candace Owens and the Kanye West of the world. Guys, black people specifically, even though you might not agree with everything that they say, don't trash them and um, embrace them. Remember that we have to work through this together. And my advice to Candace Owens and Kanye West would be to not forget where you come from. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Uh, I'm so happy that you're here with me. Be sure to like and subscribe. Click the bell so you always know when I post a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.